nothing I've heard before. changed everything that I was doing in, in music. Nirvana is definitely a part of my daily life. The way it was, you know, applicable to me is that it just taught me to feel comfortable with all my influences and not be embarrassed. I, just, you know, I, I grew my hair out long, I dyed it funny colors, I became, you know, I, I felt more like who I was supposed to be than what I was before. There was not one person that didn't enjoy that band, regardless of you know, whether it was country, or rock, or folk, or jazz, or blues, everybody loved that band. So, had a pretty large impact. What we're doing right now is we're paying honor and respect to people who aren't playing that music anymore. I get to do those songs justice, they get to be played again because there's a very good chance that those songs won't be performed again. Try and do the absolute best job that we can do and we'll get out and play some shows and, and if it works, cool. If it doesn't, people aren't into it, then cool, then we won't, you know, won't continue it. We love those guys, we love the music and, and, and that's why we do what we do. I love the music so much, I love playing it. I mean, it was what got me into playing guitar. It reminds you of how wonderful those songs are and that they're timeless. It's definitely a really, really cool thing to be able to play him. come home from school and turned on the radio like I did every day when I came home and the first thing I heard was like the half a half a news clip of of that's the body of somebody had been found in his house but they weren't sure if it was still his um, but you kind of know in the back of your head when you hear that I walked up to the counter to buy my tickets and the guy looked at me like I was crazy I was like and basically, you know, just said that um, it was just on the news. They just announced it like a couple of hours, an hour ago, a couple of hours ago that Kurt had killed himself. So I was, I was a super bummed, you know, that Kurt was gone and such a great artist has, has left us. But selfishly, I was really bummed because it was just such bizarre timing. And then seeing how bummed out everybody was in school and, and you see that kind of impact that somebody has. Next morning I woke up and it was gray, an ominous gray, where it wasn't raining, it wasn't cold, but it wasn't warm, it was just settled. I still have this clipping and I'll always have it. We do get um, a lot of criticism. It's something that's very personal with people. I think that the initial perception is, how dare you? Definitely some people give us that like, how dare you vibe. Never ever do I, do I feel like, oh I'm Kurt, I have to, I have to do this. I don't, f the, the shoes of Nirvana, yeah, they've, they've got some big chucks to fill, you know. Who do you think you are trying to do what Nirvana did when, you know, they can only be one Nirvana. Nirvana's legacy is very intimidating. Um, to, to say that we're, we're going up there and continuing what they were doing um, is, is a tall order. I mean, those guys changed rock and roll. Nirvana's legacy is very intimidating. The legacy of Nirvana doesn't intimidate me at all. It inspires me. I feel like I have to hit harder. I have to do the songs justice. I have to make sure. <laughs>
pretend to be them. So it's, you know, we kind of look at it from the outside and just going in and, 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 and just recreating that live, that live show. I think that, you know, we're doing something positive for sure. In the long run, what I hope Penny Royal accomplishes is kind of just continuing to celebrate a really phenomenal band that connected with a lot of people. It's just what it's about and we stay true to the music and that ultimately is the, the bottom line. Is that they're they are all about their music and what they did and you know, and that's that's what we at least attempt to do. So. <laughs>